Do y'all know what a prolapsed uterus is? Because I don't. Um, so I'm not going to make this too graphic, but I have six children. Okay. My fifth child, who is now seven, got stuck and um, he had shoulder dysplasia. I had a stage four tear, tore from the top to the That's bottom inside. Okay. Yeah, like... um, it took four nurses, a doula and a doctor to pull him out. It was a whole thing, right? So then, you know, the baby that's in, the, in a lot of the other videos I have, she's my sixth child. They had to give me a C-section. When I got a C-section, I got my tubes tied. Okay, fine. But I have not had adult relations since I got pregnant with her. Okay. So I haven't had relations since April of last year. I had her in December. The last person that was down there was my doctor. Okay. I don't use tampons. None of that. Right? So long story short, basically my insides fell out. Um, and now I'm in the emergency room with my insides. My uterus is basically, no, excuse me. My uterus is hanging out. I didn't even know that could happen. I've, I don't know. I've, I've not heard of it before. Oh, oh, I just, oh, oh, just the thought of it just making me feel like it's proper cringing me out. How is she so chilled? I mean, I guess you gotta be like, what else can you do? There's no point freaking out because it's happening. But, oh, I don't know how I'd, I, I would not be able to keep calm. Literally, hanging out. So now they're about to do all these tests. They've given me morphine. Um, so yeah, they said that my pelvic wall was weak and so on and so forth. Just Google it, cause I still don't know what's going on. Um, are y'all gonna push it back up in there? Or do I have to have an emergency hysterectomy? I, I don't even understand, like what is going on? So yeah, I just want to share that with everyone y'all have a great day <laughs> okay so it wasn't a prolapsed uterus and it wasn't fibroids you know what, what they're saying it is now they're saying it's cancer so you're telling me if y'all look back to that video that i did that video of a prolapsed uterus was last year so now i'm admitted into the hospital for the second time in the last two weeks and i was here two weeks ago after my grandmother's funeral only for them to tell me that I needed a blood, a blood transfusion at the time. I had to have an MRI and a whole bunch of other crap. And then the last day that I was here, my doctor comes in and he's like, Oh yeah, by the way, it's cancer. Ha ah, ah, my What are you talking about? So anyway, yes, I do have these on. And I bought a face mask that I'm about to put on after that. I don't care if I'm in the hospital. I might as well just look at it as vacation. Got to stay positive. Anywho. So now I'm in here this time because I was in a whole bunch of pain. They've had to give me morphine, they had to give me all this stuff, and they have me on the freaking cancer unit. Okay, this is my update video. It's gonna be kind of graphic, so I don't know what I can and cannot say, so I'm gonna try my hardest to say what I need to say. So basically, I'm currently at Target waiting on my prescription from CVS. So when I went in there, mind you, the, the ambulance had to come and get me. And they looked down there, okay? They thought it was my uterus. I thought it was my uterus. I tried to pull it out. It would not come out. Whatever was, whatever it was, okay? Got to the hospital. My, of course, my cousin looked it up. She said it sounds like a prolapsed uterus. Got there. Everybody thought that's what it was, okay? The doctor, once the doctor came in, he's trying to push it back up in there. It was so big. He, so he's thinking it's my uterus. He's trying to push it back up in there. He was rough. I'm going to have to do a whole complaint on him. It was horrible. So he ended up having to pull it out. And, and it was actually, I don't know if I can say this, but I'm gonna say it. It was blood clots, but they were so big that oh. they said they were the biggest they've ever seen. And they had to do an ultrasound. Basically I have fibroids. I've never had them before. Um, they said they've never seen someone with so much bleeding. They thought they were gonna have to admit me because my blood levels started to go down because of how much blood I lost. Um, what else? Um, they gave me something in my IV called THX, which they normally give to trauma patients, which is safe for breastfeeding mothers. Um, okay, yes, yeah, so they gave me that in my IV and then they sent me home with some tablets. They said if it doesn't help, then I have to come back and they may have to give me a hysterectomy because it was so big. <laughs> the doctors were just looking at me like, and I'm looking at them like, okay, okay, say, say good morning. But yeah, that's my update. <laughs> I'm, I'm shocked. Oh, so it wasn't her uterus, it was blood clots. 
but they must have been big for her to think that it was a uterus like and for the doctor and for people to say the same thing as well they must have been like i think i pass out i'm squeamish anyway just like her talking about it and and saying it is just making me feel it, it really is it's making me feel quite <laughs> oh poor lady poor lady she seemed quite calm about it though I'm, I'm still i think i'm most shocked about the way that she was like she was so calm she was so chilled i'm thinking if that was me like i wouldn't be maybe i need to take a look at myself and stop being such a baby about stuff but <laughs> seriously i'd be panicking i mean she sounded quite stressed by it i think you would be wouldn't you if you saw something like that like, that would freak you out, I think. It really would. But at least she's okay. I think she's okay. They sent her home. Obviously, they said if she's still struggling with the same sort of issues, then she's got to have a hysterectomy. Um, fingers crossed she was fine. Fingers crossed she didn't have to go through that. Even though I think after, if you suffer with stuff like that quite often, I think maybe having a hysterectomy is maybe the best decision. But I feel really bad for her. Oh, I can't even imagine what that was like when she realised and like the fact that she tried to push like pull it out and the doctor tried to push it back in. Oh. Thanks for watching Story Don't forget to like and follow.